Good morning, everybody. Eric here from Views from the Back Seat. We've got a special episode for y'all today. Uh, last week, there were some shenanigans afoot. I don't know if you know this, uh, but I caught Neil a little bit off guard by doing the men's figure skating challenge. And what I mean by that was, is every conversation I was challenged before uh, to turn every conversation into a topic about men's figure skating. And with that, uh, I, the first 10, 30 seconds was fantastic. And with that, Neil and I talked about, wouldn't it be amazing if we wore tights for our next episode? And so we're wearing tights and this man, <laughs> there's a big man behind me wearing tights. There is. And guess what? We are live. Together again. Together again. Can you believe it? But today. We're in tights. We are wearing our tights. In tights. So there in, you go. In honor of men's figure skating, in honor of this challenge. There you go. No shame. No shame. We're down here. There no shame. Is. No oh. shame, guys. No What's shame. What's on your tights today? What's on my tights? I don't know. Just some uh, red, black, camo, tiger stripes with my Make It Tain Tito's t-shirt. I went with so, uh, Captain America tights. Captain America, yeah. Just with the ball enhancing pouch. So, I mean, if you're going to wear tights, you got to have it. You got to go. You got to go for it, man. You got to go for it. You got to go for it. So we contemplated just uh, <clears throat> standing in front of the camera instead. But yeah, so we decided that all these things come up as as we're pre-gaming the show. So I was like, wouldn't it be neat if we could have like a bench and we would just like stand at the bench and maybe just have the cameras pointed below the bench. So you can see our faces, but you can see like our reactions and stuff like that. So maybe next time, maybe we'll have to do like uh, a skinny jean challenge. Mm. How would yep. you like that? Then we'd be like, uh, like this SNL skit. Yes. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, uh, was it SNL or was it Jimmy? Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy Fallon with J Lo. J Lo and um, what's his name? Uh, Will Ferrell. They were. Taylor was rocking the white tight pants. Let's yeah. be honest. Will Ferrell did too. Oh yeah, of course, great. of course. Yeah, he, no shame, no shame. Yeah, yeah, no shame. So we were in New York City a few weeks back. Speaking of Jimmy Fallon and uh, Olivia's girlfriend was with us. Her name uh, is Jamie. Friend, that's a girl. And the uh, we were Olivia and I are a few steps ahead. And all of a sudden we turn around and Jamie is talking to this gentleman in a suit. And we were right outside Radio City Music Hall, actually. Okay. And it took us, we were like, how did she get in this conversation with this guy in the suit in the middle of New York? And stuff? Like, what kind of conversation? Like, hey, how you doing? I mean, it or was a, like, it was why no, you wearing a suit in New York City? No, it was a, it was like a, you could see from their facial expressions that it was like, had gotten like into a, a good conversation. Like a heated conversation. Not, like. not a friendly one, but. Well, no, you know heat, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I'm yeah, involved. Exactly. I, yeah, I'm involved, an involved in conversation. Okay. And uh, turns out that it was Higgins from Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon's show. No. Yes. Really? Yes. Right on. Yeah. So she just happened to meet him as he was leaving work. And and you guys didn't get like free tickets to the show? Or? No. How got, did you get on that show? We got a we got a sweet picture with him, though. He was okay. going to take All a right. sweet picture and everything right. else with her. So but, that's cool. Like, to get you on a show, is it like a waiting list? Like I have no idea. Free ticks. You know what? I totally, totally regret is I've never been to a Jerry Springer show when he was in Chicago. Man, I talked we about it for years. For I know. Never, never fucking happened. Is he still me filming? Up. Yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. And where's he, where's Steve, he based out I think, I think he went back to Connecticut, didn't he? I have no idea. I don't know, but I think I Steve Wilkos has like the, still the, the spinoff show in Chicago, but yeah. Let's see here. Jerry Springer. So disappointed, Jerry Springer. Still oh. airing. Making new episodes. There I'm go. surprised there's still trailer parks out there that he has not tapped to get. No, it's not on anymore. It's not on anymore. Okay. They ended production. When? COVID. According to this, back in like 2016. Well, yeah, but that was the CW network, though. Maybe you're not on the C. But okay, well, good run there, Jerry. Well done. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Uh, so was that our extent in our tights? Speaking of which, so last week Jimmy Chen was the topic of conversation. But this week he's got a legit champ. He, I mean, he went fucking gold. He was fantastic this week. He scored hundreds of points, literally hundreds of points. So what does he get for like winning the Olympics? Did he win the Olympics? He won the Olympics. He won the Olympics. Okay, yeah. all right. He won the Olympics. I don't know. Good for him. How old is Jimmy Chen? Nathan Chen. Nathan Chen. What? What did I call him? Jimmy Chen. 
Oh, maybe, Jimmy, oh, maybe he was an actor. Maybe, maybe he so, was an Oriental actor. Jimmy, he's not a rug. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Chin is actually a fantastic, world-renowned climber and photographer. So there is a Jimmy Chin. There is a Jimmy okay. Chin. Okay, right. are they Definitely. related? They have to be. They got the last name. No, names. it's Chen, Chin and Chen. Different. Mm. There's an E and an I. Uh, Nathan Chen Nathan is Chen. probably 20, I'm going to guess 23 years old. So does he just do singles? He don't have no partners to fuck, fuck him up? Right. 22 years old. Really? 22. Okay. Born in, listen, folks, this will make you feel old. 22 years old, born in 1999. Wow. Where is he? Is he from the U.S.? Salt Lake City is where okay. it says. Because did we talk about this last week? That that American, yeah, the American figure skater, Chinese that decided to go ski for ski for or China. I'm sorry, skate for China yep. and fucked up. I fell down. America, America, that was a ploy. America, and then uh, she's probably gonna get killed yeah. because she fucked up. The Twitter verse was after her ass. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, bad shit. If you're gonna defect and go play for another country, you better be you better be on your game. Right. So but that's good that she wasn't on our team because she fucked up. So we don't care. Wait, well done. Well done. Well, I'm kind of sad that like our tights are no longer on show. Well, we can stand up and do the whole show, but I mean that was my idea, but whatever. I got a sweet haircut this week. I, I see that and a beard trim. I did not get a sweet haircut because I don't have many to cut anymore, but Limited cuts. There's limited <laughs> yeah, cuts left. I got, I, yeah, hair. yeah. I only got so many haircuts left, then there won't be no more. So I got to <laughs> really pick and choose when I want a haircut. So yeah. yeah. What are you drinking? Okay, Cause, cause so since we're in person. We get to uh, we have may contain Tito's. Not may contain Tito's, though, Tito's not and today. yeah, not today because I should have stopped on the way in and got some. But I will do that today. But listen, folks. Literally, Neil's been the co- Neil's been to see us twice in the last like four months. Yep. And both times it was a beautiful week. And then blizzard the day he comes when he lands. Yeah, in, so. unreal. And then it's back to fifty degrees today. Yeah, but it's just yeah. like the night that you get yeah. here. It was literally night white knuckle driving from the airport here. Which last meant? night in the smallest, shittiest car ever made. It's some Hyundai. I barely have wheels in a steering wheel car. <laughs> it's got like milk crates for seats Bad and, and burlap sacks for like seat covers. It's a golf cart. Yeah, it's a golf cart. We we made it though. But to be fair, last time he came, he got like a free. Did you use the same rental car company? No, no, okay, no. Because last we had time the he used big the rental dick car, yeah. SVT Dodge, <laughs> fucking whatever. Yeah, yeah dude, he's rolling yeah. around in like a hundred fifty thousand dollar <laughs> SUV. Last time, yeah, he was here. yeah. So, so touche for me. I get the shitty car this time, but whatever. Yeah. So normally from the airport to uh, my place of domicile, as I learned, it was referenced this week from a lawyer. A domicile. Yeah. Okay. Not my ho- not our house. It's our re- our place of domicile. Okay. If you want to sound really fancy. Uh, Does that jack the price up? Doubles. Doubles the price down the yeah. aisle. Yeah. Anything, you know, like anything, hey, I got this hammer, but I put fire service hammer, I could double my money. And if you put NASA on it. Oh, then you triple your money. Oh, no, it's 10, unlimited. 10,000 10, times yeah. your money. Un- unlimited, yeah. Speaking of which, uh, Neil uh, Neil shared with me last night that he saw a meme that's uh, not NASA related, SpaceX related. That uh, Elon Musk is the most successful African. African, yeah, most successful. We could probably find it. Can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Good. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Elon Musk is the most successful African ever. Wrap your fucking minds around that one. Well, he's from South Africa. Exactly. Exactly. And the most successful African in the world ever. Who are other famous Rapid. South Africans? Oh, there was the Blade Runner that killed his girlfriend. Ooh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was an Olympian too. It's he was an Olympian Blade Runner, yeah. Another uh, famous famous African. African. Uh, Elon Musk, number one on the list. Right there. Yep. Elon Musk. There's some people in here that I didn't know or South Africans, so. though. Gary Player? Uh, like Gary the Player golf? Is a golfer. Oh wow. Right? Okay. Yeah. So don't ever tell me you're fucking oppressed you're by right. the white man because look at all these goddamn good people. Uh, Elon Musk. Elon on this Musk. list is number one. Yeah. Charlize Theron. That's the actress, isn't it? She's pretty. Holy yeah. shit. She's number two on this list. Yeah. Candace Swanpole. She's a... I don't know who that is. She's a, a supermodel. And I believe... Is she is she married? Is she the one? No, that's Bahati Prinsloo. I was going to say she's... <laughs> Ooh, you are throwing out some big old words, dude. What language are you talking? I have uh, no idea what you're talking about, bro. 
I was gonna say married to Adam Levine. Which, mm. uh, okay. But I think Adam Levine wife is yeah. Look, boom! Look at that. You're on right. Point. So who is that? Bahati uh, Prinsloo. So, but who is that? Who's Bahati? She's also oh. uh, so she's actually Namibian, which would actually Ooh. be African as well. She's what? N- Namibian. What the fuck? Okay. Oh man. Boom. Oh, Ooh, we are, we are just. This of... is like the educational program yet. The more, man, I'm learning so much shit. The more you know. Wow, my brain is getting so many more wrinkles in it knowing all this shit. Yeah, she was uh, kind of hot, didn't she? Yeah. Well, she's for a, an African. She's a supermodel. Yeah. Let's see here, Namibian. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. Next from Nambia. Right. Right. Nambia. Boom. We wow. are. Next we to Botswana. Have, we actually so. have more African knowledge than people would imagine. Yes. Oh, and guess what? Hey, it's still Black History Month. Bam! Boom. Back at you. Boom. Look at that. Man, we are just rolling in it today. This you think Facebook is going to censor us or this, somebody's going to censor is, us? This is interesting. I didn't know this. We are, I, You and I are older than the country of Namibia. No. Why do you figure Namibia? There must have been a war. Re- uh, drawing, what does that say? 19, the what? 85? 1985. Okay. So this country was founded in August 30th of 1985. But I think they've always been at war. Because look at Zimbabwe. I think they've yeah, always been, been in some kind of yet. civil war or Correct. something. Speaking of which, are we going to be in World War Three soon? Ooh. I don't know. I mean, oh, uh, so I read this. So, mor- I read this morning that all of the diplomats from both the U.S. and Russia have been pulled out of Ukraine as of today. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, well, I mean, no one knows what Putin's going to do, but Putin. But I just find it funny. So, uh, send a shout out to the troops. Uh, I don't know how, how however many of them left uh, Iowa just recently yeah. to go for their annual deployment or whatever. Poland. Yeah. No, so, on, on so line. looking at everything, um, if Ukraine or Russia wasn't a big deal, they probably wouldn't be going to Poland. Yeah. Okay. Nothing against Poland, but pretty sure you're gonna get deployed to some fucking swamp in our swamp in Arkansas to do your goddamn two week bivy. Okay. Not, not Poland. Not Poland. So yeah. yeah, there's some shit going on. So yeah, yeah. And you got to read between the lines. Right, and I've got dear friends. Uh, they were stationed there before this, but one of them just got one of them got moved there about a year ago. One of them got moved there about three months ago into Germany at Rammstein Air Base, and I didn't think of it. We were talking about going over to see them, and all of a sudden, that's like that's front lines, man. Oh, I know. I for an air, I know. For an air base, they're yeah. they're, they're they're there. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Shout out to all of our troops, our men and women that are in, in Europe right now. Because oh no, no, fucking hats off, man. Because you know real. what? Yeah, and, and and just to have some fucking dipshit that thinks he can take over a fucking country. Motherfucker, it's 2022. Yeah. We're, we're, hey, listen, why don't you back the fucking truck up and pass out fucking crack pipes to everybody? Like we, like fucking Biden is. Just pass out crack pipes and shit. You know? <laughs> Fuck, let's all get along. Can't we all get along? Really? Have a big old fucking kumbaya, pass out crack pipes, and yeah. That's all. Well, we're in Colorado. We could go smoke weed. <sighs> no, why, why do that when you just do edibles? True. Right? Edibles? Yeah. Yeah, not in my town. I am not, not taking a drug test when I get back. Not in my town nor my county, though. Because you sure. guys are a bunch of fucking liberals here in Douglas County. Other no? way around. Other way around. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. All right then. All right then. No, you you walked out. If you walked hey, out Main Street and say that. So so have let, you seen have you seen Curb Your Enthusiasm? The newest <gasps> season. No, I didn't know there was a new season. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, season God 11. Damn it, I season 11. Watch it. Uh, I love that show. Ep- episode, Dirty Seinfeld. Episode 4. Uh, Larry David. Episode, you even know the episode. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, the last one we watched, Larry David ends up having to wash a Klansman's robe because he spilled coffee on it. <laughs> <laughs> Klansmen still wear robes? In Larry, in, yes. in, in Larry in, David's in, world. In yeah. Your Enthusiasm, yes, okay, a Klansman okay. still wears a robe. It's a hilarious episode because uh, then he ends up at the Klansman's ranch. Oh, nice. <laughs> the ranch. Yeah, oh, yeah. So. The dude ranch. The dude ranch. <laughs> yeah, so, so uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, I believe season 11. Oh, episode God four. damn it. I, yeah, I gotta get, get caught up on Curb Your Enthusiasm and fucking Letter Kenny. Speaking of good. Letter I mean, Kenny is. Fucking hilarious. I haven't watched that because you know what else came out? What? is a new season of Righteous Gemstones. Have you heard of this one? No. I'm actually surprised. No. I'm actually surprised. I, I'm like what? Hulu? No, HBO uh, Max. HBO Max? Okay, so you got to pay for that now because fucking HBO 
took their shit off a fucking dish, but okay. right. Yeah. So but righteous Danny Mc, gemstones. Danny McBride. So no way. It's the same oh, cast fuck. Right. I will buy. <laughs> I will buy HBO Max to watch fucking. Yeah. Right? yeah. Fuck yeah. And it's amazing because cash it's, and checks and snapping necks. <laughs> it's a great because like vice principals. I thought vice principals was like, that was you and I great. watched a lot. Of oh, vice that was fucking together. awesome. Yeah. And so, uh, so vice principals is fantastic, but also they stopped like after two seasons. Well, I don't know so, why exactly, but they stopped to start filming this instead. Fuck. It's, it's the same episode. Yes. It, uh, the, the like the 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 sweet vice principal. Yeah. Uh, that was a great character. Yeah. What was his name? What was his name? I don't know, but he's in that other show now too. What is uh, his name? Right there. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. His real name is Walton Goggins. Yeah. Uh, he's fucking great. But I don't great. remember what his name was in Vice Principals. But <laughs> in, 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 uh, <laughs> in, fuck. In, so in, I, in Righteous, Righteous Gemstones, Gemstones, his name is uh, Baby Billy. <laughs> Baby Billy. Okay. Yeah. Well, he was actually in. Uh, H- another HBO series. Westworld. Westworld. No, Westworld. it was not Westworld. What was it? It was something else. It wasn't Westworld. It was um, like Tombstone or like a movie like or a show like that where he was a bad Justified. Act. Justified. That's it. Justified. Justified. Yep. Which is another good series. So fuck. Not, man, yeah. I got all so, these shows I got to watch now. So Righteous Gemstones makes fun of all of the mega church pastors in the world. Oh really? It's hilarious. Like the Joe Olsteins of life, and okay, yes. uh, I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, and it's based in like South Carolina, so right in the heart of the Bible Belt, and they are just down there, just like ripping Deal. apart. And Danny church. McBride's in it too. <laughs> He's the main guy. It's his show. Yep. Yeah. So Danny McBride, uh, hilarious <laughs> stuff. I, I mean, I loved Eastbound and Down too. I oh, mean, that show was great. Fuck yeah, it was. Yeah, one of my favorite Jiffies is Jiffs, Jiffies, Jiffy peanut butter. You know, yeah. those moving pictures. A is, gif. Is that a, a gif? A gif. I don't know. Uh, whatever. Uh, is where he's in like uh, he's in his baseball uniform with the American flag draped around his neck, yeah. and he's given the sucking sign. Well, no, that was show. fucking uh, <laughs> uh, Flama Blanco, Flama Blanco, the white fucking flame, Flama Blanco. <laughs> <laughs> fucking show was great. <laughs> yeah. So the righteous gemstones. <laughs> okay. So is it funny? Oh my god! Oh yeah. fuck, man! Yeah. I'm gonna have to watch that shit. John I'm Good- gonna have to fucking buy HBO Plus now to watch this. John shit. Goodman is like the senior pastor. Are you serious? Yeah. So you got John Goodman and Danny McBride is like the one. Two <gasps> is John better in this than he is in the recent Roseanne series? Because he looked like a fucked up mess. Uh, I think he looks great. For okay, because because in Roseanne, the 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 recreation or the re continuation of, of Roseanne yeah. just recently fuck he looked like a fucking alcohol drunk ass oh man yeah he looked rough so good for him yeah god damn it that's more money they gotta spend out to watch shows fuck uh, unless uh jk's got his passcode for hbo max that he can give me and i'll just use that since everybody uses my fucking password and shit for everything well, that's kind of you Still using your uh, satellite dish at the firehouse? <laughs> yep. Still with the wire run through the window? Yes. Dude, yes. I, yep. I guess we shouldn't say that. It's not run through the window. Ooh, it's no, been it's not. Fixed. It's been repaired. If there's anybody with brass on their collars, it's been fixed. Man, repaired. do you remember the fucking shit we got? I do. I do. I, did, took, did, I, did I, did I was we talk talking, about that I was on thinking, one of the shows? Uh, no. No. Fuck, dude. You, no longer, you fucking took a fucking bullet. I was company officer. That was my job. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, bro. You Cheers. fucking you fucking took a hit for us, man. But we still got it done. We we, we got we got, got it done. Good. And we moved on to bigger and better things. Right, like men in tights. Men in tights. Or is it what's the what was the thing called? Not men in tights, but it was like Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Robin Hood men in tights. Yes. Oh, oh, oh shit. Ah, uh, let's see. That's here. a I, huge it. It's time. It's oh. time. It's time to See what we found on the web. Remember, we're only two um, clicks away from BBC, so we only went one click. Especially when you're searching for men in tights. <laughs> men in tights, because you know ain't nothing good going to come up. And then, so, go ahead. And then no, we're trying ahead. to like dive in a little bit deeper. <laughs> tr- yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the right language either. We weren't trying to dive deeper into men in tights. But... Uh, you go down this path that you can't stop. It's like, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Right. So, uh, I guess. So, so, where I'm getting at is during my final days, 
and I am not life, on this of, earth, of your hit life? fucking F9 on my computer, please. What's happening? Somebody d- erases the whole fucking hard drive. I do not, I do not want anyone to see what the hell's on my I computer. I feel like your computer should just be like taking like taking a sledgehammer to do that too. Because every time I open it up, I'm surprised it that. doesn't fucking blow up. You do <laughs> not want to see what the fuck's on my computer. I'm not on no registries or nothing, but you do not want to see what's on my shit. BBC, two two clicks away. Two clicks away. And that's why we only went one <laughs> click away here for these pictures. We had so be- there's Robin Hood Men in Tights. A classic, it's not, right? The, it's not the best kind of depiction of dudes wearing tights because, I don't know. There's if, better. If, if you're ashamed of your manhood, eh, wear mom jeans, right? I mean, listen, you and I have showered together many times. We know what each other's packing at yeah, this point. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's, it is what it is. Yeah, it is. It is. I, hey, I'm not. Hey, I'm not ashamed of what God gave me. No. Yeah, well, as we so. talked earlier in this sh- series, every- I don't have chicks knocking down my door by no means, but no. still, you know. No. And two clicks away from BBC, you're not going to find mine either. Right. Right. So, um, talking about men in tights, let's. Um, we talked about the uh, the best Batman. The best Batman. Let's okay. So so put up that. No, that's Superman. Put up the best Batman. Fucking Adam West. Okay, so this was 1968, 1969. Look at this. He has in 1969 the ball enhancing pouch on his. That's pretty impressive. On his tights. Uh, that's what, awesome. what I'm trying to do here. Let's hear. Again, two firefighters using technology. Let's, uh, yeah. I'm trying to make this a little One bit. dude only knows like porn sites, yeah. and the other guy's actually pretty good. So. Ish. Ish. I mean, that's a that's Adam West. That's the original. Okay. I okay. If somebody would comment or text or email what each piece of his bat belt contained, you'll get something out of my junk drawer. Wait. I know, I know what's in there. I know it's in there because I'm a fucking Batman fan. And these little squares? Yes. I didn't yes. Know, I don't everything, know. everything has a special compartment. So if you can name the compartments on Batman's utility belt, you'll win something out of my junk drawer. Hmm. I might even throw in a pair of. How many are there? I see four. No, but you got the back too, so it wraps around. Man, well, you got the bat cuffs, and oh, I, I, Dude, yeah, I can't, I, I can't, I, 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 I can't, your hint. Bat, bat cuffs, yeah, bat cuffs. So, get you started. So, I will even sweeten the pot because just introduced, if you can name every secret compartment on the utility belt, I will throw in a pair of views from the back seat tights. Oh, how's that? Because those are hitting the fucking store. They how's are. that? We have, yeah, because I know yeah. everybody is excited about views from the backseat tights. Yes, I'm yeah. buy, I am. I am. I'm getting I'm them. Gonna I'm, getting them. I'm getting them. I'm going to buy a pair. So you have an option with or without ball enhancing pouch. Your choice. Hello. So yeah, are we still here? Oh, we froze up. We froze up. Did they kill us? Oh. Oh. There you go. Okay. Look at that. Just change camera. All right. Camera angle. Boom. Okay. Boom. Right there. Okay. So we're watching this camera. This camera, okay. camera two. Right. Camera two. Camera two. Okay. So let's go through some other famous. Uh, okay. Uh, remove. Re- yeah. Remove. So because we're see. two clicks away from. What? Uh, and I, I have no two. idea what the fuck this is. No, this is later on. We we gotta dive deep. What does their shirt types. say though? I can't read Something it. It's Russian. Okay, it's Russian. It's Russian. This is why we're going to war. Dude, ain't no Russian got big dicks like that. We'll show that later. That's a you tease. Oh, okay. Here's a classic. Guy. Here's the classic. Here's the original Superman. Which, okay. which we have an interesting question about this guy too. So quiz number one was what is in everything in Batman's, Batman's utility, utility belt? belt? And the question to here is this what's this gentleman's name? George. Reeves. George Reeves. George Reeves. George Reeves was the original Superman back in the 60s when it was still black and white. So this is a <laughs> color photo enhanced photo, but, but this is the original Superman. Uh, I'm putting the website back up because we froze at that point. Tights will be on there uh, by the end of the weekend. If yes. and I don't get too drunk to put them up. Because we got bets on the Super Bowl too. We do. 
I got shitty squares from. I just want to shout out, uh, send a shout out to Jonathan from hitting it hard from the yard. I got two squares on your uh, football pool or the uh, superb owl because you can't really say the super ball. So it's superb owl. Hit, hit hard. H Y F T Y, right? Hitting it hard from the yard, brother. No, you hitting. No, you fucked oh, that up. Oh, man. H I hitting it hard from the yard. Yeah, there you go. Facebook group. There you go. In your heart from the yard. So, hey, Be- shout out to you guys. But, yeah, I bought a couple squares, so we'll see. You guys gave me shitty numbers, so we're going to have a talk after this fucking uh, uh, webcast. Maybe is. we could get him on the show. What uh, chances is that happening? Well, I don't know. If he really wants to show his fucking face, Jonathan. Probably not. We'll see. Uh, but why not? Hey, I'll tell you what. We will. We will darken your face. And we will make you Ooh, sound like this. Yeah. So no one knows who you are. How's that? Witness protection for John. Yes, witness protection. We'll so, even change your name. Yeah, like, we'll even change your name to like Kevin, uh, Kevin. Uh, Hard Charger. Hard Charger. Hard Charger. We'll change your name to Hard Charger. So, but I guess we can do that for anybody. Yeah. If somebody wants to be on the show but don't want to be like recognized. I don't uh, know why. You're embarrassed well, to be hanging out with Neil and I, I guess. You should not be. You should be fucking honored to hang out with us. You would think so. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh what, yeah. What Ooh, that's a got? big dick. All one. right. What else you got, bro? Uh, well, we're through the classics. So now we're just like poking fun. Man, he's got some fucking, he's got some legs. He's got some calves. Look Who's that? Me. Look at my calves. Who, who do we use to bike ride with? <laughs> Look at these calves. Look at these calves. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We, we will not shame anybody, but you know what I'm talking about. No public shaming here. No public shaming yet. <sighs> yeah. You piss us off, we will shame you. Did you tell me what you're drinking? Oh no. Oh, what? Well, n- nothing. It was Captain Morgan private stock. And I'm still drinking eggnog, folks. It was. So. It was Captain Morgan private stock on the rocks. The only way to drink it. It was so smooth with, do with with hints of vanilla. And yeah, it was so good. Because we don't do anything not fancy in Colorado. I mean, because even the beer. Well, Listen, and, and, anybody, and, and, anybody and, that knows Neil, anybody that knows Neil, would you ever have expected him to drink this beer that he's about to announce? Because he drank no. it before the show started. Let's be honest. Would, yeah. No, no. All right. And it's, it's a fucking, how do you say that? Elysian. No? Elysian Night Owl pumpkin ale camera because two. camera two because that's all he fucking had here and it's like god damn it i so he had like canes of fucking budweiser i'm like well fuck i'm a miller light guy or a course light guy i'll fucking take a fucking budweiser i pick it up and a budweiser non-alcoholic i threw that shit in garbage you don't know that yet. oh look at that shit man the camera one right hey away. take my picture down We're for bike riding one. Hey, take my picture down from bike riding. I'm not sure which one of us that is. We used to have Woo! Is the bike club still a thing? Nah, it's kind of disbanded. That's kind of because like of this kind of picture. Like, kind of like the association. Because kind of, of these, disbanded. Because of these kinds of pictures. Well, everyone got promoted and moved shifts, and everybody's trying to be a fucking preacher at a fucking church nowadays. And yeah, shit just ain't happening. No bike, no bike riding happening. No, no. What about volleyball? We play? still do breakfast on Wednesdays. Oh, I, so that's still a thing. Where at? Where's the new place? It used to be no, Hy-Vee. No, no. Uh, Eggs and Jam. Eggs and Jam. Eggs and Jam. Eggs and Jam. And uh, Captain Ski kind of heads that up, or he's he's pretty vocal, or, or you know, come out and do that. So, actually, congrats to him. And yeah, so I actually think that's pretty cool because we started that five or six years ago at this point. Right. Uh, every we, Wednesday, guys, we get together for breakfast, and the goal was the idea behind it originally was is that as people retire and or leave the fire department, that they would know that there's a place to be. That we can morning, they could right. still meet back up with right. with guys from the department right. and kind of have that. Same and meeting. hence the Carl Boots, right? And it's still happening. that was. The, I mean, our getting together for breakfast was the inception yeah. of the Carl Boots. Yeah. Would I still be welcome on Wednesday morning oh, breakfast? Fuck yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you? I'm gonna have to make a trip back to Des Moines. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Keep talking shit. I think Mr. I was at your. Fucking... I think I've been at your uh, man shed more than most of the guys in the department. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. You have. There. You have. You have. And there's a hot tub there now. So I'm gonna have to buy some new shorts <laughs> to be in that hot tub. Oh, you. Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh no. That is uh no. It, no shorts. That's a closing. 
clothing optional hot tub. So, so I can either wear my tights or no shorts. Right. Right. Cool. Right. So speaking of tights and shorts, uh, so which one do you want to go I, with? Well, go with the, this the, is the benefit the, of us being hanging out together is we get to make decisions in real time. Yes. Yes. And yeah, that, 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 that right there is. This, so this is where you want to go. Well, yeah, go, go with that one. This is our Photoshop friend. That did Meanwhile, a fantastic job there. I don't have that much chest hair, but you, yeah. Meanwhile, in Mexico, so yeah, that's our that's our Photoshop. But hanging out with pretty ladies, still. Oh, of course, always. That's which is surprising me. Didn't know Bahati Prinsloo. The who? Adam Levine's wife. Back to the oh. supermodel from Africa. Who the fuck is Adam Levine? Is he a singer? What? Who's Adam Levine? Wow. <sighs> All right. Now, well, no, we're it's... gonna pull me back down the Nathan Chen rabbit hole. I'm wearing Captain America tights. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say, well, Adam Levine isn't he a singer? I'm gonna go on record and say that Adam Levine is one of the best looking men in the world. At least but who is it? Yes, is he a singer? He's Maroon Five, the the lead singer from Maroon Five. Oh, the Goon Five. No. Oh. I mean, back in our day, back in my younger days, Adam Levine was. He was the man. Dude, he ain't got that many tattoos. Yes, he does now. No, he doesn't. Now he does. Fucking pussy. Now he does. Okay. Oh, so have, oh, so you know how we watch like Rock of Love and all that shit. Have you watched the Celebrity Big Brother that's on now? No. You know who's on there? Todd Bridges. What you talking about, Willis? Really? And a guy from fucking Instinct, Chris. Or uh, yeah. They're, they, they're, dude. Not the main. Not Justin Timberlake. No, no. Timberlake. Was it Instinct? No, or is it? Oh, well, whoever it was, his last name's like, I don't even know, dude. Life has been rough. Lamar Odom's on there. You have to hit rock bottom to want to go on fucking Celebrity Big Brother. You have have to hit rock bottom. What have you done to me? What do you mean? You've got me sitting here in fucking tights, looking about at fucking half naked guys, talking about Justin Timberlake and Adam Levine. Well, I don't know. Our audience has switched from ninety nine percent. Guys to one hundred percent women. No, our audience no, slept. Right, no, <laughs> right, right no. There. This is important shit. Adam Levine and Justin. Well, no, no. I just I didn't know who Adam Levine was. That's him. And see, look, the ladies. And why don't he have a shirt on? Because he's so. Not. So, are we gonna have to do the next show? Skinny jeans with no shirts. I'm gonna have to hit the peloton a few more times, dude. I'm. I'm just. Hey, I'm like that uh, Kenny Powers. I look like fucking 10 pounds of chewed up bubble gum, and I don't give a shit. Which <laughs> goes back. Oh, I got to watch that fucking show now, man. Kenny you can't do that. Powers. He's bounding down. Kenny fucking Powers. Kenny fucking Powers. For those that don't know who Kenny Cash and checks this and the, snapping necks. The there image. it is right there. This is the image I was talking about earlier. View image. Bring it, bring it up. There it is. There you go. The oh, greatest American of all time. Fuck yeah. Cash and checks and snapping necks. Did you know Olivia went to the same school as he? I think we talked yeah, about, we did that. Talk about yeah. that. The yeah. acting or the, yeah. the yeah, yeah, the acting school. Yep. Yep. Kenny so, fucking Powers. All right. Deleting La Flama Blanca. Deleting tabs, so we'll see what else comes up. Yeah. Oh, La Flama Blanca. That's classic. That's a classic one. 86% of white girls will be just like this. At a 4th of July party. And year. that is fucking true. There's the fucking half shirt. We got to do skinny jeans and a half shirt. We got to do skinny jeans and a half shirt. That's the next oh. challenge. Skinny jeans and a half shirt. I also just realized as I stood up a little bit that you've got me, that I'm wearing a Lululemon shirt. You've got me in tights, a Lululemon shirt. Talk about guys on the podcast. What the hell? That we're going to wear skinny jeans and a fucking half shirt. No wonder I didn't. Dude, I will cut one of my shirts to be a half No shirt. wonder I didn't fit in. No wonder. <laughs> <laughs> oh awesome <laughs> all right last picture uh because we're well over time and neil knows damn well we've got appointments to catch we got, yeah we got shit we got to do shit to do today all right shit to last do. tab here we go dude i don't know I, I don't even know what to say there this is why we're going to war speechless I, Again, two weeks in a row. Speechless. I, was I like, got him speechless two weeks I, in a row. I don't know what to say. I, <laughs> I, I, oh, like what sport is it? Oh, you know, know what this is? is? Probably men's curling. That's every, men's curling right every there. Every single firehouse across the country is now practicing curling. Have you seen all this? They better guys? be dressed like that. Have you seen every single firehouse yeah. across the country here? We'll, yeah. we'll end on a different note. We'll find a video of it. Uh, 
Yeah. Because did you see those fucking dad bods curling? How do they do anyways? Do you even know? No. Okay. I follow no one gives a shit, do I follow they? men's figure skating. Yeah, no one really gives a shit how, how our curling team, team uh... did. Because all you got to do is go with the broom. Ah, 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 ah. Um, I mean, I've seen it on Instagram. Sure. Uh, but basically, that goes to it goes to show that every firefighter thinks they can now curl because they've sat around the firehouse way too long and uh, talked about shit. Talking, yeah. watching the Olympics, think they can curl. Yeah, is what it comes down to today. That's oh, it. well, that's what it is because uh, yeah, it's not. Good. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Everyone realizes. So yeah, so I don't know so who you are. Yeah, so you know, before we uh, head out. Just want to throw a couple, still a couple shout outs to Jonathan and hitting it hard from the yard. And you better have gave me good numbers on that football square pool that is really not there or really didn't happen. So, yeah. Yep. Because I think gambling's illegal, but well, I guess it depends. Uh, yeah. So, anywho, so wish me luck. I got shitty numbers, but you never know. That's right. You never know. He needs to buy our next bottle of private stock. Obviously. Obviously. Go to the website, buy tights tomorrow. Buy tights tomorrow. And if you can uh, name mm-hmm. Batman's utility belt equipment, I will I will I will throw in a pair of tights along with some of them from my drug drawer. Wow. And you will buy them tights. I, I will buy you tights if you can correctly name everything in Batman's utility belt. And I thought we threw out another challenge. Oh. No? Oh. Uh... Uh, well, we'll have to go rewind. back and rewatch it. Re- there's a second re- challenge. Re- yeah, out there. there's, I think there's two challenges, but the next challenge for us skinny jeans, skinny and, jeans half and half shirts. shirts. Do we show off our tights one more time? I'm getting ready. Yep. All right. He's not getting ready. I'm not getting ready. I'm just showing them off. Woo! Tights. 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 Captain tights. America. Tights. There you go. It's been fun, dude. It's been fun, bro. Love, Love you, soon. man. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, because you know, you know, we got to end the show like this. At least I told him I loved him because he always fucking cussed me off. So let me find you. And you, hey, ready? Hit it. And Lucy, put supper on the stove, my dear, because this ball game is over. Bye.